Guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, let me know your feedback, any uh, questions that you have down below in the comment section. Also, if you're a new viewer, please subscribe. I try to do reviews on pretty much um, the latest and uh, most hot shoe. Also, guys, if you are a new viewer, please hit that notification bell after subscribing so that you can stay up to date on my latest content. With that out of the way, let's get started right away to this review because that's what you guys are here for. Um, so as you can tell from these bags, they are finish line bags. Um, I was very surprised when I walked in at finish line and I saw that we had these in stock and um, pretty much in a full size run. So that felt really good, especially considering I had been trying to get this shoe since I first got into the sneaker game a little bit over a year ago. So um, let's check them out guys. So here is the box. As you can tell this is an Ultra Boost box, so an Adidas box. Um, there you see the boost there in white and then those shades of purple and yellow and then right here is just white and yellow Adidas branding with more white and yellow some more cool white and yellow and then yeah the same here and Today we are doing the review on the well bam Adidas ultra boost 4.0 um, And that triple black colorway and these are a US size 10 and a half so before I get started on this review guys, I do have a size 10 over here in this box with the receipt that I was selling, but these all um, sold pretty much like instantly as soon as I got home. Someone bought these online from me. Shout out to that guy. He knows who he is. Um, but the reason I bought these in a size 10 and a half was initially because they didn't have my size. But when I tried this shoe on, because I do plan on keeping me a pair, uh, when I tried this shoe on, it pretty much fit really tight if you do grow true to size, which... I thought wouldn't be an issue because I've had Ultra Boost in the past and uh, I always went true to size with those and if I felt pretty comfortable. But true to size on these specific shoes felt exactly and comparable um, in size issues as the recent um, Adidas Yeezys. Um, especially the dark color, the dark gray colorway which is the Beluga 2.0 and the blue tints. I mean I had to go up completely um, uh, entire size to finally feel comfortable and have enough toe box um, you know toe box space um, and the reason so is because of the prime knit on these you will see in a minute it's a little bit thicker and it's a little bit um, not so much um, elastic and flexible as the other ones but um so I do recommend I am a size nine and a half that's my true to size I went up to a ten and a half which kind of surprised me but um, with a ten it was a little bit uh, still too tight so I went up with a ten and a half and that was just right because I'm pretty sure you know as over time the shoes as you clean them they'll kind of you know they'll wear out a little bit more <clears throat> and if you throw them in the washing machine like I do um, they'll get a little bit smaller and shrink um, and also people gain weight so um, anyways the suggested retail price is 200 and um, after tax, it was about 214. So check your local finish lines, um, and hopefully you guys have um, these in stock if you guys are looking for them. And uh, when you open it up, it's just a cardboard inside, and you, we have that Ultra Boost paper right here. Um, and then here we have it, guys. Well, bam, the Ultra Boost, the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Triple Black colorway. Um, these dropped this week, this past, just this recent week, um, sometime on Thursday, I think, or Wednesday, and it was a surprise drop on Finish Line websites, and I was pretty bummed out because, um, I pretty much didn't get on my phone that morning, and, uh, I missed out on it, and I was really upset, I was like, you know what, I I've been wanting to get these so bad, because Ultra Boost nowadays aren't selling out. But when they are colorways like these, like the triple black colorways, they always sell out. Everybody wants them, especially resellers, because they can resell them. And um, so, yeah, I was pretty excited when I got to see these in store and cop them for retail price. But one of the thing, guys, one of the things I noticed right off the bat, is the, if he gets a little bit closer, just so we can see the prime net, is this prime net upper, guys. This prime net upper is really, really nice. Um, let me take out the shoe tree. No stamps on the shoe tree, just in case you're wondering. So, but um, yeah, guys, you see this this uh, 4.0 prime knit. It's a little bit thicker, 
And if he gets closer, you see those perforations, kind of like the 1.0 and 2.0 prime nets there. And that just adds for more breathability, um, so your foot won't sweat, especially if you have um, very um, delicate, sweaty feet, you know, which I know a lot of people do. That's just a common problem with some people. But um, that helps a lot with that, so you don't have to worry about it so much. And uh, the prime rate, guys, like I mentioned, on the 4.0s, I'm not a big fan about it, but I like that it's different. And um, as you can see, these are the vertical lines that go from the toe box all the way up towards the tongue and towards the back of the shoe. They kind of remind me of like ankle socks back in the days. Like, you know, pretty much the ankle part of the sock that you pull up. It kind of reminds me of that, that, that threading, those gaps between the threads. Hit that like button if you know what I'm talking about because I know I'm not just talking crazy. <laughs> but anyways, um, so you see some shades of white actually in there. Very, very light shades of white on the prime to upper around the toe box. And then a hint of black. So that's really nice. And then the shoelaces guys are kind of made to match the toe box and the whole prime net upper with hints of white, gray, and black. The aglets are pretty much just basic aglets and they are flat shoelaces as you can see. Right here where it acts as a tongue it says Adidas branding there and that is 3M reflective. The cage guys on these is pretty nice. Um, it has, it is almost like a nylon type cage, kind of feels like the straps on a backpack. That's kind of like the same type of material you see here, but underneath it is just like this very, very, uh, nice waterproof type material. So this is actually waterproof underneath it, which I don't really see the purpose in it because <laughs> on top of, you know, over the, on top of the cage on the outside, I'm pretty sure that can get wet. Um, but yeah, that was just something interesting I noticed. Right here around this heel cup, as you can see, is your regular lasered heel cup um, and that subtle black. But then the Ultra Boost there is sort of like a glossy black finish, which is really nice. Um, let me show you guys the insole. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. There is the insole, guys. It's all black with the Boost bubble letter font. Almost looks like bubble letter or bold uh, white font. There's the other side of the insole. Um, and underneath, guys, is like sort of spray-painted hints of black, which is pretty interesting. You see that, guys? And then it kind of looks like the NMD um, insole after you remove the insole. Or liner, sorry. The liner is actually just your regular Ultra Boost liner with that really nice fabric material. Nice and cushiony. Uh, boost there in like a silver so that's really nice uh, then is off to my favorite part of the shoe the mid sole of the shoe is just triple black guys just triple black completely blacked out the torsion system is like a smoke black gray color and then the outsole guys is all black continental the continental is in like a dark uh, or yeah like a darkish gray and the torsion system is like a smoke gray. So that's really nice. Um, overall, I really like the different shades of black and white and dark gray. I think they go very well together. Um, and I really like that they made these sort of, I'm not sure if they either made them a GR or just the demand for Ultra Boost is kind of low right now. If you guys notice, even a lot of the consortium, uh, you know, Adidas accounts, aren't selling now an example is the rift pack which i did a review back on those are still sitting you can still find them and a recent example is the ultra boost lux which i will be doing a review on um either before this video or after this video so if you haven't seen it check it out it's somewhere in my uh videos recent videos um those didn't sell out either and they are very nice material um, and then another one that took a little bit to sell out, but sold out eventually was the Ultra Boost Amman Manier, which I'm also doing a review on. So if I don't post this video up before that review, then uh, just check it out because <clears throat> it's obviously up. But um, yeah, let me know your feedback on these. Um, did you like these? Or were you looking to cop these? Uh, is Ultra Boost pretty much um, dead? Because I just feel like a lot of the Ultra Boost shoes just sit nowadays. Um, I'm not sure because the very, um, it feels like it's very saturated at this point. Sort of like the NMDs. Um, but then again, Ultra Boost is your favorite um, Adidas um, Boost silhouette. Up to, for, you know, for up to date. 
or as of now is what I'm trying to say. But um, the Yeezy is as well, but the Ultra Boost is always your um, to go type shoe. Um, and so was the EQT 9317, but that seemed to have, you know, pretty much been saturated and watered down. Um, so just like the NMDs, but let me know what you guys think. I cop these shoes personally if you ask me because they're triple black and I've been looking for a triple black ultra boost shoe and I don't have any ultra boost shoes because I sell most of my shoes um, on a constant basis. Um, and so yeah, that's my reasoning behind it. I finally have a triple black and I love black shoes because I don't have to worry too much about keeping them clean because they keep themselves clean um, aside from just spraying crep protect on this. But uh, other than that guys, hit the subscribe button. Let me know down below what you guys think about this really nice shoe. Um, don't be afraid to call this shoe ugly. I mean, that's, everybody has different opinions and likes and dislikes. So uh, comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.